What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm gonna do my uh, gear oil change right now. I'm supposed to do it every 10,000 miles. I'm at 24,000 on this bike, and I forgot to do it when I did my engine oil change because it's you know it's time to do it. Uh, as you can tell, I took off my my mid controls um, on my left side. Uh, in order to get to this screw right here, uh, I have to do that because I have to take this off and then I gotta take off the inspection plate. Um, it's basically just like the engine oil change. Uh, there's a drain plug right here that I'm gonna use uh, this to take off. And then uh, it's basically just the same concept. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. All right, so now we're uh, draining the oil. Um, make, sure, make sure you don't drop your plug in there. This is the plug that you unscrew. It has a magnetic uh, end on, it's right there, there we go. I don't know if you can see it. That little end piece right there is magnetic and it catches any um, pieces of metal, loose metal inside the, uh, the primary box. So go ahead and clean that off, kind of set it off to the side, don't lose it. Go ahead and let it drain just a little more, basically till it's finished. You should only take about, I don't know, three to five minutes, depending on how warm you got it, before you uh, start draining everything. Now I have this on my jack stand just to make it so that the, the bike is straight up and down, not at an angle like it, like it is on the kickstand to get every last drop out of there. Plus when you do, uh, when you insert the oil, you want, there's a certain line that you have to do and you have to get it at and you won't be able to do it if it's on its side like it's on a kickstand. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take all these off um, and then the expect, inspection plates. All right, so this is what it looks like when you take everything off, the inspection plate and the derby cover. Um, go ahead and go ahead and plug the thing back in, the trip panel. Make sure you don't lose the spring. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug it back in, start filling it up here in the inspection plate. Uh, start filling it in, and I'm gonna fill it up right to where the rim meets, maybe a little bit less. And then uh, I'll go ahead and put everything back together. All right, now that I have one full quart of gear oil inside my gearbox, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything back together. Make sure you still have the spring. Right now all you have to do is put everything back together and then you need to get a uh, torque wrench and then uh, torque it down to 90 to 120 uh, pounds on each one of these. Uh, so it's pretty simple. I'm just gonna put this together and then I'm gonna go ahead and torque it down once I have it. Um, on level ground, but I don't think you guys need to see me doing that. So that's basically it.